I need to bring you up to speed on our kitchen wall project. So more than likely, this is gonna probably be a three-part video series. And just wanted to remind you that my vision for this kitchen back wall is to remove the cabinet and the microwave. I put the microwave inside of the pantry and I wanna take that backsplash up the entire wall and then I want to extend my cabinets up to the ceiling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize now because you will not see how this cutout square got here. I actually deleted the footage out of frustration. By this time, we were kind of flustered just because we thought we had secured reliable help. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And so we just decided that, you know what? We're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna start DIYing these projects. And in our attempt to do that, we realized that the framework did not have enough studs to securely mount this range hood. So we cut out a square so that we could add a stud. But that's when we realized, you know what? This receptacle is also in the way. And we needed this receptacle moved up so that our range hood could fit flush against the wall. Let me encourage you because when one door closes, another one always opens. Because in the process of doing these different projects around the house, one thing that we were also shopping for was window treatments. And this gentleman right here, our angel, Mark, he came to visit and he saw the different projects that we had going on and it turns out that he also was an electrician by trade. And <laughs> he just literally hopped right in and was just like, you know what, let me take care of this. And he's been part of the family ever since. So that gray box right there is the main reason why Tom did not feel comfortable moving the receptacle and it's because it was pretty much two receptacles linked together because remember I did have my microwave moved into the pantry and so there was an outlet that had to be added there and wired together very tightly. So in true Mark fashion he didn't want to stop at just moving up the receptacle. He went on to say Give me those studs that you need to add it to the wall. I have my tools out in the van. I'll just bring them out, cut that piece of wood, add that wood to that area so you'll have that stud. And then also I'll repatch your hole and all you have to worry about is now mounting your range hood and adding that backsplash. So thankfully we had everything that he needed. We had the patchwork tape. We also had the drywall and it was already pre-mixed. And so it was really simple just for him to go on and spread that. And we let this sit for about three days before we moved on to the next step.
And just like that, we were back in business. And one thing I love about Mark is that he is a teacher. So while he's doing these things, he's constantly teaching us too, as far as what we need to do and how we need to proceed with the next step. So I am so thankful and let that be an encouragement to you. Do not get discouraged. It is never, never rejection. It is always God's protection. And that is how you take your peace and you give God the pieces. <laughs>